What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. And in a previous video over here, we talked about how we were replacing this old dog with this new dog who has some new tricks. It's more powerful than its corded older brother. It's more versatile. It's more convenient. But is there a way to actually make it more compliant and even perform better when doing drilling tasks. Well, today, we are gonna find out. Here is Bosch's solution for OSHA compliance. One of the things is, people see OSHA compliance, they're like, ah, you know, dust extraction, I'm not really worried about that. You know, uh, what's, why should I spend the extra money on a dust extractor just for OSHA compliance? OSHA never works on my jobs, blah, blah, blah. Number one, there's some health benefits to using an extractor like this without all that airborne silica. You know, you, can, you could suffer from silicosis. Is that, is that what it's called? Okay. The other thing is, is that you might not realize it, but a tool like this, an adapter for that rotary hammer, will probably, we're gonna test it, make the rotary hammer even more effective at drilling tasks. But let's get an overview of it. This is the Bulldog Dust Extractor. It's part number GDE18V-26DB112. No, it's DB15, sorry. On the outside of the box, it lists the contents. It says one times lithium ion battery. One fast charger, one five eighths and diameter drilling dust die. Ooh. One one inch diameter drilling dust die. One four inch extension for 10 inch bits extension. One HEPA filter, one carrying bag. Wow, this thing's pretty awesome. It says it's got a three year cordless tool protection plan. So the cordless tool has a three year warranty. It's got a two year battery protection plan and a 30 day money back guarantee. The features of this tool are, it has a HEPA filter, it has a drilling dust eye, and it has dust capacity indicator. Technical data, drill bit diameter, 3 16th to one inch, okay? It will work with. Max drill bit length, up to 10 inches. Max drilling depth, 3.9 inches. So you're good up to almost four inches. Ta-da! First out of the box is the Bosch bag. I will say, it has that nice bar tack stitching. Not double bar tack, but it does look pretty sturdy. It does have a pretty nice zipper on, on the bag. You know, they don't look to be KKYs. They're, they're labeled Bosch, okay? But it looks like a nice sturdy zipper. It won't jump the track, so to speak. We have a bag here. I believe it contains our dust eye. Here's we have multiple dust eyes, okay, included in the kit. We have a four amp hour core 18 volt battery. Now, if you wanted to find out a little bit about these batteries, you could always go to this video here. We have our handle. It's got a nice rubber overmold texture to it. Pretty cool. We have our literature. I'm gonna set these aside. Usually I would throw these off to the side, but I'm thinking today I might need, need to read them sooner than later. Uh, I'm pretty sure what's in here is your charger. This is their professional GAL 18 volt dash 20 professional charger, but this doesn't look to be a fast charger or a rapid charger. That doesn't mean that it's not fan cooled. It, it possibly could be fan cooled. We won't know until we plug it on in. And finally, the piece de resistance. We have the dust extractor itself. Now, this number one are handle is reversible for lefties and roidies. Pretty cool. Okay, so I'm a roidy, so I would probably keep my handle off to the left side. 
Next thing to do is remove the handle from our bulldog. What you'll see is, you'll see these two, I don't know what you'd even call them, these two plastic tabs that stick up. They look to insert into these two holes where the screws are down below, okay? As well as the front of the drill inserts, you'll see you have this little release tab. That's what locks the bulldog into the extractor, okay? If you needed to pull it out, you need to push down on that tab. So it looks pretty simple. And once you have the handle where you like, you'd lock the dust extractor to the bulldog. Pretty cool. All right, next thing you want to determine before installing your dust eyes would be the size of the holes you'll be drilling. The smaller is for 3 16 to 5 8 The larger is for 5 8 to 1 inch. If we wanted to drill a half inch hole, we wanted to use a half inch bit, but it would slide down into, boom, and it would snap in place. See the little notch here at the front, okay? That would be fine, but if you wanted to use something like a half inch by 10 inch drill bit, you would need to remove the dust eye. You then put in your extension here, and then insert your dust eye into your extension. Now, when you want to insert your bit, you're gonna to wanna to come through, you're not gonna come through this way, okay? Because you don't wanna get any grease onto your, the hairs or the fibers on your dust eye. So you'd go through here and then insert your... Now, there's also an adjustment for depth. You can adjust it all the way out, okay? And this helps you to not over drill your holes, okay? Because we removed the depth adjustment from our standard handle, they've built that depth adjustment into the dust extraction. Your HEPA filter is down here at the bottom. You never want to run your vac without the filter in place, never. So always make sure your filter is in place. And then finally, you'll need to have that secondary battery. Much like a cooking show, this four amp hour battery needs to be charged, but we just happen to have a fully charged one right here. What you'll do is, you'll pop your battery onto your dust extractor. Here's your, here's your battery indicator. You push that button and on comes your dust extraction. Pretty simple. Now, if you wanted to use a 10 inch bit and still be in compliance, what you'd, you'd have to do is to get the full length of this bit, you'd have to start out with the extension on, okay? Once you, you got to the full depth, okay? Let's say you're drilling through, you got to the full depth that the attachment allows, you'd then remove your bit, you'd have to remove your extension, and then start from that point to make your full 10 inch hole. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna time, okay? We're gonna time drilling a hole without dust extraction. We'll take a look at the airborne silica if there is any. We're gonna see if not only is there a compliance benefit, but is there a productivity benefit? And we're gonna drive this half inch by four inch bit fully. So everybody knows we're drilling into a bucket of concrete. Bucket of concrete. This is 5,000 PSI concrete. It's fully cured. It's been cured for months. On the count of three. One, two, trace, go.
pretty quick. We got that chore done in 15 seconds. Now, when drilling down, you'll see that initially we had some splash out of silica dust. And then it settled down once we were into the hole. The problem is, is that if you're drilling horizontally or even worse, overhead, all that silica dust is gonna be falling to the ground or falling on the operator. So that, that won't be good. Okay, we took off our standard handle, we installed our dust extraction, okay? And uh, let's see how we do. So we're gonna put our rotary hammer on the concrete, okay? We're gonna make sure our depth adjustment set all the way down, okay? So we get the full depth. Then we're gonna turn our dust extraction on. And then on go, we're gonna start our hole. Go. With dust extraction, this cordless bulldog accomplished a task in 13 seconds. Two seconds faster. Okay. So not only, and you can see it here, we're left with a dust-free hole. Look at that. Literally zero silica around the hole. Zero silica inside the hole. That's what allowed us to drill that hole faster. But also stay OSHA compliant. And if you like the idea of not getting fined $12,000 for the first offense and an enormous amount of money for every offense after that and being more productive on the job site, then smash the like button. With that, I wanna say, I hope this was helpful. And guess what? If, if just being OSHA compliant wasn't a reason enough, being more productive means making more money. Who doesn't like making more money? Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.